who am I? Am I even normal? Do I have a purpose? purpose. On April 6th, 1989, Joel Hughes was born at Prince Charles Hospital. He caused quite a shock, weighing in at 9 pounds 2 ounces, with the largest head on the ward that day. Joel was a very quiet, reserved child, a quick learner and very creative. Walking by 12 months and active, he was also a big eater. From his early years, Joel has always been a child that would help others. He would be the one to give away his last sweet and displayed a strength of character beyond his years. Music has always captivated Joel. His creative flair and love for music shone when Joel discovered karaoke. He had his first system at the age of 13 and began creating his own music. From that moment on, it was clear that music was in his blood. Denise, when you first held uh, Joel in your arms, being his mum, what was what was the first thing you thought? Well, like any natural mother that gives birth to their children, you know, you look at your child, and every one of my children, I looked at them, you know, and they were, well, wow. But Joel was one big plump baby. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, growing up, what what was he like? What was he passionate about? Well, Joel, as a young boy, as he um, started walking and doing things, um, he learned early, very quickly, you know, like one year of age, he was, you know, walking around. He was quite quiet to his other brothers. He would sit there and build the blocks, you know, where the others are demolishing the room. <laughs> um, Joel was a totally different child, drawing. You know, and all that, he used to do all that, he liked things like that, which the other boys wouldn't sit down and do something like that. But Joel was very, when I look back at things, Joel was a totally different child. So how did music impact not only on Joey's life, but the family's life as well? Right, now, Joel to follow me for the music, I was exactly the same from from as young as I can remember singing up on top of St. Clouds Avenue in Bargood on the hill. From four years of age, I'd sing for my money. My mum would say, you're not having no more sweets. She'd say, you sing for your money. And I used to sing in the schoolyards, I'd sing. I'd sing in the house. So I, I, I it was always in my soul. I was brought up in a um, very music um, uh, family, you know, with music. Joel started to, I guess, um, I wouldn't say before 12 years of age, but then 12 years of age, um, he started kicking in, um, writing things, singing, and we'd be, I'd be screaming. His favourite was, um, I did it my way, oh. and always, shut up, Joel, turn it down. <laughs> but then he just, it was like a demon that overtook Joel in a nice way, oh, yeah. but it was like a demon. And he was always music, 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 karaoke writing. Then as he started getting older, you know, doing the CDs, writing down the music, people would come to the parties, to the karaoke's, and it was always there. And I remember saying to Joel, yeah, but you'll have to get a job. You'll have to get a job to support yourself. But no, it was this music. And always any competitions, anything, Joel would be there. You know, and no one, they could say what they needed, even down to the mum. But Joel's soul was overtaken. And from there onwards, this is who he is today. Joel had a very close bond with his mother. She brought him up to be honest, caring, and to have good morals and a positive outlook on life. 
Joel's parents had split when the boys were very young. The four boys lived with their mother, but visited their father regularly. At the age of 14, Joel began to feel confused and a little lost. He'd always felt different, and this caused him to become very shy and withdrawn. Again, it was music that got him through this stage of his life. Although he had girlfriends, Joel soon realized that he was actually attracted to the same sex. It was a difficult and frustrating time for him, and although he questioned these feelings, over time Joel realized and accepted that this was who he was meant to be. When Joel came out to you, um, how, how did you cope with it? Did you have any idea beforehand? I guessed in a way, but no, I didn't think it was anything to do with sexuality. But I remember cleaning the bedroom and I found a letter. And this is how I found out that this letter was written personal to somebody else. And I read the letter. When Joel came home, I said to my son, come on you and sit down and we'll have a talk. I started talking, Joel got quite emotional. And I'm thinking, why is he getting emotional for him when he asks him if he's gay? And like I say to my son, and I say it the same today, and I'll say it till the day that I die, be proud of who you are, because there's not many people like my son around. Alongside music, Joel's main passion is a love for animals, in particular, his dogs. At the age of 14, Joel welcomed his first pup into his life, and the bond between man and dog blossomed. Named Pepsi Hughes, this adorable terrier gave Joel the security he had longed for, and a friendship like no other, truly an unconditional love. When we lived up in Phillipstown, um, Joel brought this scruffy dog in. Um, Joel said, oh, ma'am, can I? I said, I'm not having that. Um, you know, E.T. in this house, I'm not having it. Anyway, yeah, ma'am, I love... And Joel, Joel doted from a little, you know, pup growing up. So, so he'd always been in the family, been a wicked little bugger, mind running off and that. At the age of 18, Joel introduced Mia to the household, creating a companionship for Pepsi, as life was getting very busy for Joel. Whilst developing his music career, Joel had the joy of playing midwife to Mia, as she and Pepsi provided Joel with four litters of beautiful pups. Mia proved to be an exceptional mother. Sadly, in April 2017, a heartbreaking and painful situation arose. Pepsi Hughes, at 15 years, was diagnosed with bone cancer. And on the 19th of April 2017, we said a final goodbye to him. The day you took Joey to the vets, the day that he unfortunately had to say goodbye to Pepsi, what, tell us what that was like. It must have been quite heartbreaking. Yeah, it was really heartbreaking. Like, I picked him up from his house and you could see how much pain the dog was in. Um, and since, well, like two years ago when I first started VOTV, um, I started to mould with the dogs and, like, I absolutely love dogs anyway, but these dogs are so, like, so friendly, so loving, um, and you could just tell how much he, they meant to him. Um, they were his life, they were his babies. Um, and when he put him in, his, in my car, I was just a bit overwhelmed that he was really happy in my car but you could see how much pain he was in he was wagging his tail but it broke my heart when he started crying when joey started crying in the car because like obviously it was his it was his final well he was out in the field and then he got in my car it was his final like journey if you know what i mean um i mean i've never ever ever had to experience anything like it the the waiting any everything like 
I, I knew about it when he went for his biopsy, um, when he went for his results. It was just a long, long process and it was really, really heartbreaking. Um, I would never, ever like to experience it ever again. It was, it broke my heart and that, it just felt like a piece of me had gone and you could just see how much it meant to Joey and it was, it was awful. But um, you could see how much of a strong companionship he has with his dogs um, and yeah, he's a loving person. I couldn't, the emotions, I never expected all them emotions. And the worst thing about it was me supporting my son as we was in the room and Joel was begging, begging me, mom, mom, please, please do something, help me, help me, please. I couldn't do anything for my son. I, I, I couldn't help my son, I couldn't take away that hurt and the hurt was so unbearable, it was, it affected me for I would say at least a fortnight after. Mentally, you know, that's all I kept on seeing was my son by this end of the bed and holding on. I, I you know, when they were putting the needle into Pepsi and he's kept on saying, oh, please, my, I love you, mommy, boy. I love you, mommy's boy. I love you, mommy, boy. All the time until the last breath was taken and then Joel had to check that he was gone but he begged he begged mum can we do anything I would have paid whatever I had to pay but there's nothing things in life but that was the worst even through the first relationship that Joel went through the bad relationship that was the worst experience of my life it was like well it was a part of the family but at the same time, the grief was so bad for my for my son, my child. And seeing your child hurt so badly like that, and there's nothing you can do. His dog was his life, well, his dogs. He was his little boy, and it was like he lost a part of Joey. We got there, we got over, and the memories never, ever, ever go away. Because like I said, Pepsi was part of our family. Growing up, Joel would express himself through his writing, and many songs were born off Joel expressing his feelings on paper. His earliest song, Somewhere, was produced at the young age of 16. It was around this time that Joel was invited for a private interview with a talent agency in Wales, where he met his first agent, Pauline Luther, who has guided him ever since. Joel has performed live as a solo artist for the past 14 years at various venues across Wales, and even major events such as the Brecon Jazz Festival. This led Joel to some local fame which prompted him to leave his past persona behind and to reinvent himself. Thus, Joey Blake was born. Joey is an honest and creative songwriter. Some of his tracks have been written to promote awareness of many subjects over the years. Beat Bullying UK. Cancer Research UK. Women's Abuse Campaign. And many other causes very relevant to today's society. He has written two full original albums to date. The first album being Wings, and the second was entitled 13. Both albums gained much support from various companies and were promoted through radio and newspaper articles alike. In 2015, Joey, with his original track B, made the top 10 upcoming artists in Wales. One of Joey's most popular tracks, titled Mother, was written from the heart based on his past experiences whilst growing up. A memorable experience of Joey's success was when the South Wales Echo arrived at his door with a camera crew to interview him about his work with the Prince's Trust UK. He had attended the Prince's Trust course to study the business and development side of the music industry. A member of management said that he came into this course as a student and left as one of the teachers due to his helpful and supportive nature towards other students. Whilst with Prince's Trust UK, Joey got to work with some famous faces, 
It was recognized at this point that Joey is a great leader who has commitment and focus. Joey has awards marking his achievements in production, writing skills, vocals and charity work. His career in the industry has seen him develop into a fine music and visual producer. Hard work and determination has paid off and is benefiting others. For example, working with schools on various projects. His enthusiasm and great creativity can often appear to others to be over the top. However, it is this imagination and passion that has led to his success. Okay, so when I say Joey Blake, what runs through your mind? Lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Joey is... Um, people see Joey as the excitable, kind of fun kind of guy, you know, because that's what he wants people to see. But. There's a very vulnerable side to Joey as well that not many people get to see. Uh, Joey as a person, as a friend, is uh, very Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, you get to see a lot of light and shade in Joey. He can be very honest, very caring, very funny. Um, but then sometimes he can be quite annoying, quite abrupt. But usually when he's quite abrupt, he's very honest in what he's saying. Joey has a very open mind, and it's no surprise to those who know him well that often his projects appear outrageous. One example is back in 2014. He created an online series called Big Brother Valleys, an online series consisting of a group of friends completing various challenges and tasks across Wales. It was very popular in the Cardiff area. Joey often presents as a confident, happy character with a positive outlook on life. However, things have not always been that simple. There have been many knockbacks in Joey's life. He has experienced depression and anxiety, and lived through both physically and mentally abusive relationships. His first sexual relationship was one of his most difficult. Being 18 and vulnerable, Joey's first partner made him feel that he had someone to rely on but it wasn't long before things took a drastic turn. The relationship was a controlling and physically abusive one. This slowly broke Joey's confidence, making him feel worthless and dominated. So Joel obviously had some unhappy relationships in the past. Um, as a mum, that must have been quite difficult for you to, to cope with. Well, well, yes. Like I said, I made you know, a lot, a lot of mistakes in my life, going along the way, grow, as my children was growing up. As you do, as you do. So when Joel had a very, very hard time in the first relationship, um, psychologically, it, it, it messed with his head. But, you know, we kept on going, and I say you get through it, you get through it and through it, and it makes you stronger. You know, and Joel did. And Joel learnt from that, kept on going with his music, always the music, the music never went out. Always the music and the music kept him going. 
and like I said, he tried things. Now he's much more wiser to relationships. But you know, then starting off coming out gay, first gay relationship wasn't easy. Thankfully, he found the strength and courage to flee the relationship and find regained confidence and self-belief. Joey threw himself back into his music and began to look to the future again. It took two years for Joey to trust again, and he slowly entered a new relationship. Although Joey was comfortable with his sexuality, his partner was unfortunately not, and this caused mental anguish for Joey. For the first time in a long time, as this relationship ended, Joey began to experience negative emotions again, feeling empty and frustrated. Although Joey will always be a kind and caring personality, happy to help anyone at any time, those past experiences have always taught him that sometimes we have to be firm and learn to say no. He sometimes sees himself as rude or obnoxious, but those who know him well realize it's simply an outlet for his passion and it always comes from having a good heart. Joey has no problem showing his comical side and will always make a fool of himself for any good cause. His hard work and professionalism will shine through it all. As a person, like, he's got very, very, very loads of personalities. Like, I think he's got more personalities than there is jam flavours. Um, there's, like, a silly side. There's a very serious side, um, a childish side, um, but then a grown-up si side to him as well. Like, he's... Joey's helped me in many ways. Um, when I first came to VOTV, he helped me with my confidence. He had faith in me. Um, when I first turned up to an audition for VOTV, I went up to his house. I was the last, um, last online audition. Went up to his house, nearly ran out the door, but he made me stay. Um, and yeah, I've never looked back since. And he's just, from every audition, um, you know, all through every stage, He's just helped me come out of my shell and I'm, you know, I started gigging and stuff now and I never thought in a million years that that would ever happen and it's, yeah, it's, again, it's just all thanks to him. He's helped me tremendously. Um, if it wasn't for Joe, I would never have even thought of even picking up a mic. I've always liked music, but it was never something that I would have gone and done if it wasn't for Joe. And he have pushed me to do things that I never, ever thought I'd do. Yeah, he's helped me really a lot, 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 and I am really, really, really thankful for what he pushed my, he pushed my um, confidence up really, really high, and which I'm really, really thankful for. He's loving, he's caring, he's funny. He can be a nuisance sometimes. Yes, Joey has helped me in a lot of things, uh, more professionally and personally. Um, he's helped me to improve on my performance skills and my singing skills on stage. Um, more personally, he's, he's helped me to be a bit more confident in myself. He's helped me to understand a little bit more about life and make me a little bit more mature because he's taught me many life lessons. Also, um, behind the scenes kind of thing, He's taught me how to edit videos and things, which is something I haven't done for a long time. But yeah, he's helped me out quite a bit, uh, mainly, mainly professionally and personally as a good friend. He's putting me on the right road, like where I'm going in life, because I'm very childish. Um, I always have been childish, but I think he's like, he makes me mature when I'm around him. I think he's a lovely guy, he puts all his time, his effort, everything into pushing people to be successful in the music industry. If it wasn't for um, the old TV, I wouldn't be doing this right now, I wouldn't end to nothing. He always shows a loving, sensitive side, especially towards his animals. Um, Joey's a good cook, he's taught me how to cook properly because I can't cook properly. Uh, he's taught me a lot of life lessons. The caring side of him, I think, is what his best trait is, and he cares for a lot of people around him. 
and he helps everybody. Um, and I knew when the first time I met him, I had a friend for life. When not busy with his music, Joey can be found tending to his tropical fish as a means of relaxation. Joey has a colourful and varied professional history. Before music became his living, he first worked as a qualified painter and decorator, which he still enjoys as a hobby today. The only downside to this is that Joey is an arachnophobe. One sight of an eight-legged spider, and Joey's off on his two legs. Joey always puts his heart and soul into his work, and is dedicated to the music industry. He has his own unique style of working, helping others to build confidence and gain relevant skills, allowing them to go out on the circuit or audition for TV talent shows. So since working with Joey, what, what is it that, he's, that you've learned? What's he taught you? He's taught me loads. Um, he built my confidence, which I had none of when I first entered. Um, I can now do my higher register, which was very weak when I started. Um, and he's just given me the faith to believe in myself. Well, if there's anything you could say to Joey now, what would it be? Um, I, just, I love him to bits. I do, he's like a little brother. We don't always get on. <laughs> Nobody sees what goes on up here, <laughs> but we have gone head to head, you know. They, we do have rows, just like everybody else. But I think the world of him, and I am really, really grateful for everything that he's done for me. Um, my first impression of Joey was he was an excitable puppy. Um, he's always enthusiastic. Um, don't get me wrong, he's a bit of a diva. Um, but yeah, he's got so much support for everybody. Um, I just love him to bits. He's just like the, one of them, you know, he's just like one of the family. I've spent so much time with him and he's just brought me out of my shell. And yeah, I can't thank him enough. I wouldn't be without him. Over the past couple of years, I think he's made me a bit more confident person, especially when it comes to music and stuff and the way you want to present yourself as an artist. I think that's helped me a lot. Yeah, I think he's bringing out the mature side of me and I am growing um, as a person. But yeah, I'm so thankful for that as well. He's got his professionalism, which that's Joey, as a lot of people know him. Um, but as Joey, as we know him, is this boy who's never going to grow up. He's always going to be like practically Peter Pan, I should say. Um, and yeah, just to keep on doing what he's doing because he's helping so many people. He's helped my three to build so much confidence up. Um, and yeah, I just don't want him to change. He needs to stay as Joey. Um, well done. I'm so proud of you. And I'm just so glad I met you. And I just hope the future brings bigger and better things for you. And I hope you have well, everything you ever dreamed of, because you deserve it. Over the past six years of VOTV, Joey has built up a strong network of support and expertise, and still works with artists from as far back as the beginning in season one. In just six years, Joey has already made a great impact on not only the industry itself, but on people's lives. Using social media including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram, Joey has a wide following, not only in the UK, but also overseas. Whilst there are many positives to social networking, it's important to be aware of the negative elements. Joey educates artists about this side of the music industry, helping them deal with the negativity in a positive way, having experienced this negativity himself in the past. Not only do you and Joe get along great at VOTV, you also have that developed quite a big friendship over the years. And, of course, you've seen some of the negativity that Joey can get firsthand. How, 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 does, how, does, how do you see him cope with all that? Um, there have been times when um, I've seen it affect him to the point where um, he just hasn't been able to process it because, you know, in his, in his mind, you know, he's doing something nice for people. And then to have all that negativity thrown in your face is just makes you question why you, you, you know you do it. But then I think, you know, he had a bit of a reality check and it was, well, what kind of person am I and how am I gonna deal with it? And then he just started standing up for himself, which might not have always been, you know, seen as 
the right way to deal with things, but it was Joey's way, and I think he got his message across. And you know, Touchwood, we ha he hasn't had to deal with that negative impact since. You know, he took a stand, so his way obviously worked. With the bullying issues and everything, you know, he's done a great job with that. Um, there's been a few people that have actually come through with, that have had bullying issues. Um, and to be honest, obviously, you know, they've gone in the limelight. Um, their videos have obviously been put up on YouTube for everyone to see, um, which really gives them a vote of confidence for themselves. And obviously, it shows the bullies that, you know, these guys are actually doing things and, you know, they're getting on with their lives and not worrying about these bullies. So, you know, I, I think he's done a great job with it all. I really do. JB Productions and VOTV is a very laid-back environment. It's a place where people can come along and build confidence. Um, I think there is a very supportive network uh, where we can all be... It's like friendly place, you know, and it's helped me to build a lot of skills. And I've seen that it have helped a lot of people to build skills. So overall, I would say that JB Productions and VOTV is a very helpful company. My genuine opinion is it's one of the most craziest but the best things you could ever do. Um, if you want, you know, building up your confidence, showcasing, he's, you know, so many platforms that have just opened up, you know, with Gig Inside, online support, uh, the voice, X Factor, you know, it's just everything that entails. You've just got a massive, massive support family. And um, yeah, if you want to build your confidence, VOTV um, is the place to be. And obviously, JB Productions with everything he does with the videos, um, just, you know, ev from, ev from start to finish, it's all just a massive journey and it's really, really fun. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'm, I'm very proud of him as a friend, of what he's done and how much he does and how much he works. I'd like to say thanks for everything you've done for me. Um, but also I, I'd like to say that you do need to focus a little bit more on yourself as well because you do a lot for others and you don't hardly take any time to yourself. But yeah, overall, I am really proud of you. Massive thank you. And... Um... From the bottom of my heart, I absolutely love everything about you. You are mental, you are so caring, genuine, down to earth, a diva again. Um, over the top at times, but you know, just seeing how much pleasure he gets out of everything that he's watched everybody doing from every season of VOTV. Um, and yeah, the progress of everyone who's kind of had the, the pleasure of knowing him. I can't thank him enough and I love you to bits. This is me. I am Joey Blake. I am normal. I am me. And the best is yet to come to me.
Joey is a committed, driven, passionate, caring human being. His aim for VOTV Talent Search Wales and JB Productions is for them to continue to blossom. Absolutely amazing and proud. Proud is not the word. There's no, no words that is big enough to say my son's absolutely incredible. But not just with this, he's an incredible, strong, determined young man. And at least that's one thing I've given him. Stand up for what you want in life. And never mind what anybody say, don't you leave them knock you down. You get back up and fight back. And my son, I've done it. Stand proud and thank you very much for everything you've done for me and everything you continue to do. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I am. Thank you. He kept on going with his dream. And look where he is today. You know, wonderful. So one proud mum, yes. His kindness and deep passion for the future of our music industry provides a strong role model for future generations. My son will just, never mind what anybody say to him, my son will just keep on going and keep on going and going and going until he can go no more. He's like a runner that's running around the track. They're going, they're going the miles until they're absolutely knackered out, they do no more. And my son will be this type of boy. He will keep on going to the last breath. But along the way, my son will encourage people. He will show them when they come in and they're frightened to do something, we show them, well, get up and do it, you can do it. He will build the confidence in them. You know, even his mum, when mama be low and mama gone there, she will, come on now mum, you're better than that, get up, you know, and that's what he will keep on doing it to the last breath in his body. Whatever way, if it wasn't a VOT, he would do it any other way. Music will never ever go out to his soul, it won't. And I'm proud of him for that, proud.